Hi, today we're exploring Equatorial Guinea, a small yet fascinating country located in Central Africa. Get ready to discover 20 interesting facts about this unique nation that you may not have known before. Equatorial Guinea is the only country in Africa where Spanish is an official language. Due to its Spanish colonial history, Spanish remains an important language in Equatorial Guinea today. French and Portuguese are also official languages. Equatorial Guinea is one of the few countries in the world that still practices traditional animist religions alongside Christianity and Islam. Equatorial Guinea is one of the smallest countries in Africa, with an area of just over 28,000 square kilometers. The country is roughly the size of the US state of Maryland. The country is located on the west coast of Africa, and its capital is Malabu. Malabu is located on Bioko Island, which is just off the coast of Cameroon. Equatorial Guinea is the only country in Africa with a Spanish colonial legacy. Spain ruled the territory that is now Equatorial Guinea from the late 1700s until 1968, when the country gained independence. The country is home to some of the world's most spectacular beaches, including the Arena Blanca Beach on Bioko Island. The beaches in Equatorial Guinea are known for their clear waters and white sand. The country has a rich cultural heritage, with music, dance, and traditional crafts playing an important role in daily life. The country has a diverse population, and its culture is influenced by both African and European traditions. Equatorial Guinea is one of the wealthiest countries in Africa, with a per capita income higher than that of many other African nations. The country's wealth is largely due to its oil and gas industry. The country has a diverse landscape, including tropical rainforests, mountains, and beaches. The country's terrain varies widely, and there are many opportunities for outdoor activities. Equatorial Guinea is home to some of the world's rarest wildlife, including the Cross River Gorilla and the African Forest Elephant. The country has several protected areas where visitors can see these animals in their natural habitats. The country's national football team, nicknamed the Nzalung National, has qualified for the Africa Cup of Nations three times. The team's best finish was in 2015, when they reached the quarterfinals. Equatorial Guinea's flag is composed of three horizontal stripes of green, white, and red, with a blue triangle on the left-hand side. The green represents the country's natural resources, the white represents peace, and the red represents the country's fight for independence. The country's economy is largely based on the production of oil and gas. The oil and gas industry accounts for about 90% of Equatorial Guinea's export earnings. Equatorial Guinea has a high literacy rate, with more than 90% of the population able to read and write. The country has made significant progress in improving its education system in recent years. The country is home to the Mondialan National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that is home to a diverse range of plant and animal species. The park covers more than 1,200 square kilometers and is home to many rare and endangered species. The country celebrates Independence Day on October 12 th, marking the day in 1968 when Equatorial Guinea gained independence from Spain. Independence Day is a national holiday in Equatorial Guinea. Equatorial Guinea has a tropical climate, with high temperatures and heavy rainfall throughout much of the year, the country's climate is warm and humid, with temperatures averaging around 26 C. The country has a diverse cuisine that includes both African and Spanish influences. Some of the country's most popular dishes include fish stew, grilled chicken, and plantains. Equatorial Guinea is home to the Bioco Biodiversity Protection Program, which is working to protect the country's natural resources and wildlife. The program has been successful in reintroducing several species back into the wild, including the drill monkey and the African grey parrot. Equatorial Guinea has a small but growing tourism industry, with visitors attracted to the country's natural beauty and cultural heritage. While the country's infrastructure is still developing, there are many opportunities for adventure and exploration in Equatorial Guinea. And that's a wrap on our 20 facts about Equatorial Guinea. I hope you enjoyed learning about this beautiful country. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more travel content. Thanks for watching.